Hello and welcome to Fit By List. My name is Alyssa and I'm a certified personal trainer. And this is Pilates for Beginners. It is a 15 minute mat workout. So make sure you have a mat or a soft kind of carpet that you could be working out on. We're gonna be really just getting a handle on our movements today, working total body, nice and easy. So this is good if you're new to Pilates or maybe you just wanted to be taking it a little bit easier today, this is for you. So if you're ready, let's go right ahead and get into it. We're gonna begin in the center of our mat, just in a comfortable seated position, whatever is comfortable for you, and we're gonna take three big breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. So here we go. On that inhale, you wanna fully fill up those lungs and fully empty them on that exhale. Give me one more. And let it out. Nicely done. Before we begin, I wanna just remind you to always be focusing on your core while we're doing these movements. So to start, you're gonna draw that belly button in towards your spine as you squeeze those abs tight. And you're gonna bring those ribs almost down and tilt your pelvis up. So you're making a frame for those abs. You wanna be squeezing always that belly button to your spine. And I will remind you that throughout this workout. And from here, we're gonna be doing some seated cat and cows. So inhale, look up to the sky. Bring your belly button forward and exhale, curve your spine, tuck your chin and continue like this at your own pace, your own breathing. Once again, fully filling up and emptying those lungs. Take note of any soreness or tightness you're feeling in the body. Maybe direct that breath to those spots. Give me one more inhale, look up to the sky. And exhale, tuck your chin. Nicely done. We're gonna turn to our side here and we're gonna come into a plank position. Whether you're doing this from your knees or from your toes, you wanna make sure that your shoulders are directly over top of those wrists and you're pressing away from the mat. Once again, belly button to that spine. And we're just gonna hold it for about 15 seconds here. So let's go. Breathe through it about 10 more seconds. Last five, four, three, two, one. Bring your right foot forward in between those hands if you can. If you need to, you can heel toe them forward. And if you need to drop that back knee down, if this is too intense, feel free. Otherwise, we're just opening up that hip. This is great to do if you maybe do a lot of sitting throughout the day, if you have a desk job, Release that back knee down if you haven't already. Step it back, and we're gonna hold that plank from a knee position. Once again, squeezing those abs tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift it up, left leg comes forward in between those hands. Once again, if you need to drop that back knee, feel free. Otherwise, stay up with me. Once again, just opening up those hips. We want to make sure we're properly warmed up to avoid any injuries. Step it on back, drop those knees down. Great job. From here, we're going to go into a bird dog. So you're going to be in a tabletop position. Make sure those shoulders are once again right over those wrists. If you need to stop for a moment, wiggle them out, feel free. And you want those knees hip width apart. So this is gonna take a lot of balance here, so don't be too hard on yourself if it, if it takes you a moment. You're gonna send that left leg out, right about hip level, and then you're gonna lift up that right arm. So that opposite, and you're just gonna hold it for a moment here. Squeeze those abs tight, and it helps if you focus on a spot in front of you on the floor. Keep that focus, you got it. 10 more seconds, just holding it. We're working on that core, that stability. Strengthening up all your stabilizing muscles. Great job, we're gonna tap that foot, tap that hand down on the mat, and then lift it back up. Continuing like that, an even pace. You're gonna tap, and you're gonna lift. Nice and controlled, working on those slow twitch muscles. Nice 
Nicely done. Take it at your own pace. Give me three more. Two. And last one, lift it. Lower it down. We're gonna do that other side. So take a moment to breathe. Send that right leg out, get it to hip level. Live with it for a moment, get comfortable with it. And then extend that left arm forward in front of you. Holding it here. Squeezing those abs tight. Once again, finding that spot on the floor that you can look at. Make sure that your neck is in line with your spine. You're not looking out in front of you. You're not looking back at your knees. Nicely done. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Tap your hand and your foot down. Lift it on up. And continue there at your own pace. Making sure you're not holding your breath. Nicely done. Remember, if you're having a hard time with this, you've got to start somewhere. So just keep on pushing through. If you need to take some breaks, make sure to take them. As long as you're still challenging yourself, you're still pushing yourself to get better with every repetition. Give me three more. Two. Last one, lift. And lower it back down. Nicely done, we're gonna lay down onto our tummy and work into a new move. So we're working our abs, we're working those stabilizers, you're working all those muscles in that posterior chain in your back there, even a little bit into those glutes. And we're gonna be continuing with your back, working that low back. This is great, once again, if you do a lot of sitting. So extend those arms out in front of you, looking right down at the mat, and you're gonna lift up those legs and those arms as well as your chest. So thighs and chest up off of the floor and lower it down. You're gonna feel those low, uh, those low back muscles squeezing together. So lift, hold it for a moment, point those toes, extend those arms, and lower it down. Keep going just like that, making sure you're holding it at the top for a few seconds before lowering it down to the mat, continuing to breathe. You're gonna give me five more of these. Do not quit. Down to just three more. Relax those muscles in your face. Give me one more, lift it up. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Great job, hands by that chest. You're gonna widen those knees and send your butt back to your heels. Extend those arms forward and just come into a child's pose. Quick moment here. Walk those fingertips forward even more. And walk those hands on up. We're gonna come into a modified side plank and we're gonna do some abductions working on that outer glute that outer thigh. So, you're gonna, sorry, you're gonna be on your hand here, not your elbow. You're gonna have your right knee down and your right arm. You're gonna come up into that side plank and then you're gonna extend that left leg out. You're gonna lift and lower for that abduction. Lift and lower. Great job. Once again, focusing on a spot in front of you to help you keep that balance. Squeezing those abs, remember what I said, draw that belly button into your spine. Once again, working those stabilizing moves, stabilizing muscles. Nicely done. Give me six more. Last three. Two, one, hold it for eight seconds. 
four, three, two, and one. Lower it on down. Switch on over to that other side. Hand flat on the mat, bend that knee, and you're gonna come on up, point that toe, lift, and lower. Make sure that shoulder is right over top of that wrist. Working into that side booty. Squeezing those muscles in the leg. And drawing that belly button into your spine, squeezing those abs nice and tight. You're doing so good. You may find one side is a little bit tougher than the other. That's totally normal. Just keep on powering through. Give me six more. Last three, two, one. Hold it eight seconds. Three, two, one. Lower it on down. Nicely done. Come onto your back. We're gonna work into those abs once again. So find a comfortable laying position. And really quick, we're just gonna bring that left knee in. Give it a little hug, little tug. Just to take a little break here. Extend it out and switch. Right leg in. Nice job. Now that you have a feel for that movement, you're gonna lift your shoulder blades up off the mat, make sure your, tin, your chin is not tucked into your chest, and you're gonna bring that left knee in once again. You'll feel those abs start to fire up a little bit more. Extend it out, bring that right knee in. Extend it out, if you can, don't let those legs fully rest on the floor, keep them about six inches above, and keep going just like that. A little bit quicker, switching back and forth. Make sure, once again, your chin is not into your chest. You're lifting with your abs, not your neck. You may feel some shaking in your abdomen. If this is still too much, you can lay your head down. Or maybe not bring those knees in so close. Give me just six more. Three, two, one, extend it out and lay it on down. We're gonna do a good morning stretch, arm up overhead, point those toes and stretch it out like you're elongating your body. Nice job, working into those glutes once again. You're gonna bend those knees, put the soles of your feet down on the mat, feet about hip width apart. And you're gonna lift up into that glute bridge position, squeezing those glutes together. And lower it down, abs in tight, keep going. Working those hamstrings, working those glutes. Really squeezing at the top. Sounds ridiculous, but almost at the top. Almost like you're trying to hold a pencil underneath your butt cheek. I know it sounds ridiculous, but sometimes those little examples really help. Give me six more. Nice and controlled pace. Four. Last three. Two. And one. Lift it up, hold it for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it on down. Nicely done. We are gonna stretch it on up, so sit it up. Find a comfortable position. You're gonna bend that left knee. Right leg is gonna extend out. You're gonna lift your arms up, pivot so you're facing that foot, and fold it down. Feeling that stretch through the other side of the leg. With every exhale, get a little deeper into that stretch. And lift it on up. We're gonna switch legs here. Right knee comes in. 
left leg extends, lift those arms up, pivot towards that foot, hold it down. Breathing into where you feel that stretch. You need to point and flex the toe a few times you can. Lift it on up, back to that comfortable seated position. We're gonna do a few more seated cat cows, just like how we started. So inhale, belly button forward, look up to the sky. Exhale, curve your spine, tuck your chin, tuck your pelvis, and keep going like that. Last one. Spine back to neutral. One more big breath into your nose, out through your mouth, and you're done. Great job. I hope you enjoyed this 15 minute beginner Pilates workout. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos like this one. I put out new workouts Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. And if you wanna be notified when those go up, you can ring that notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram for some bonus workouts and content. Thanks for joining me, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.